Toyota Land Cruiser has always been something of a fetish for off-road enthusiasts. It is generally accepted that, in addition to stealing, it has no shortcomings. Is this the case with Generation 200? The Toyota Land Cruiser 200 was born in 2007 as a natural evolution of the 100. The appearance of the novelty was distinguished by rather bold changes by the standards of conservative fans of the brand. In addition to the glamour, the bestseller finally got rid of the dependent front axle. The 100th had a continuous version of the 105, while the 200 series did not have it, but as compensation received a new 4.5-liter V8 diesel engine paired with the good old gasoline engine 4.6L. It is characteristic that at the beginning of sales there was a queue for the diesel version, while gasoline ones were available for free sale. About a year ago, the TLC 200 underwent a restyling, during which the appearance was slightly updated and diode running lights were added. Now you can manually select the nature of the road surface using a switch in the cabin. Prior to this, the choice of suspension settings was automatic. However, we will talk about pre-styling, early cars. The inline diesel engines of previous Land Cruisers were legendary. The naturally aspirated version of the 1HC was even made a saint by avid jeepers, assigning it an infinite resource and locomotive traction. But time does not stand still and nothing lasts forever. The Dvisaka received a modern high-speed V8, and, like everything new, this engine has its own nuances. The first is a possible increased oil consumption, regardless of the mileage of the engine and its condition. Moreover, there are both specimens that are not prone to tricks and can withstand the level even over 10,000 kilometers of run, and units that consume a liter of oil in less than 5,000 kilometers. For the most part, two low-line turbines are to blame for this, which, when diagnosed, turn out to be perfectly serviceable. Switching to another brand of oil can reduce such an appetite, but it's easier to throw a spare liter in the trunk and regularly inspect the oil dipstick. Another thin spot is the cooling system pump. Located in the collapse of the cylinders, it received an increased thermal load and a resource of no more than 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers. After this milestone, a leak is very likely. Replacing a part with rollers and belts will cost about 15,000 rubles. Another problem is connected not so much with the engine itself, but with the disgusting quality of domestic diesel fuel. The failure of the fuel filter at minimum, less than 5,000 kilometers, runs. Knowing the essence of the problem, the Japanese saved the thin common rail injection equipment from the effects of harmful impurities. The operating pressure has been reduced, a high-purity fuel filter with an indication of the presence of water has been installed. Ignoring the warning on the instrument panel about this will lead to it, it not only on the filter element, 1500 rubles, filter and 1000 rubles, work, but on the entire filter assembly. The lower part of its hull is made of steel and corrodes to an indecently rusty state. Statistics show that cars that refuel far from populated areas are more susceptible to corrosion. It should be noted that the fuel filter perfectly protects the injection equipment itself, no complaints about which were found even in the earliest cars. The diesel engine is noticeably noisy, although its basses can be heard properly only with the windows open. No more defects characteristic of the new engine were noticed. Just as a proven, reliable gasoline engine does not have them all the few childhood diseases of which are in the distant past. The scheduled replacement of his timing belt is prescribed by the service manual at 150,000 kilometers, and this is a common procedure in which not only the belt is changed at the same time, but also the camshaft oil seals that hold oil in the clutches of the proprietary VBTI system. The cost of replacing the belt is about 25,000 rubles, but that's not all. Since the entire front of the engine has to be thoroughly disassembled, the replacement parts include bypass and tension rollers, a belt tensioner, a pump, as another of the points that the belt goes around, camshaft and crankshaft oil seals, the belt itself and antifreeze. Total for another 20,000 rubles. The large salon of the 200 needs the continuous operation of the air conditioner. Even light pollution of its radiator causes a sharp jump in the temperature of the refrigerant and then a general overheating of the compressor. The recipe is simple, regular, preferably twice a year flushing of radiators, which in the diesel version is possible only after they are completely dismantled. The standard washing procedure will cost 4,000 rubles, and at least after the spring fluff it is strictly required. And everything would be fine if it were not for the roads generously sprinkled and sprinkled with reagents. The aluminum pipes of the air conditioning system corrode intensively and randomly, causing the refrigerant to flow out and the climate to turn off. 
continuous operation of the air conditioner speeds up the process. Neither the plastic protection of the bottom of the car against splashes, nor the regular washing from below, help. The cost of replacing leaky pipes will also be unpredictable, since it depends entirely on chemical processes. The other numerous equipment of the Toyota Land Cruiser 200, including the highly developed chassis electronics, is usually not satisfactory. Permanent all-wheel drive is a traditional solution for the TLC 200. But if earlier a free symmetrical differential with a lock was responsible for the distribution of the moment, now instead of it there is a self-locking torsion differential. It distributes torque between the axles in a ratio of 40 colon 60, works successfully and without fail, leaving the rear-wheel drive character of the car in most driving situations as a guarantee of greater safety. She also serves as a developed stability control system. It includes, in particular, front and rear stabilizers adapted to the road surface and optional electronically adjustable shock absorbers, as well as advanced ABS and much more. But it is by no means in the bowels of the electronic systems of the TLC 200 that the main frustration of the owners lies. A sore point of all large Toyota SUVs of this. Days, ordinary front wheel bearings. Their design is rather weak for a heavy machine. Having replaced the powerful and indestructible with proper adjustment, tapered bearings of its predecessors, the current simple Turo fellow still somehow copes with the weight of Prado, but in the hub of the 3-ton TLC it can simply chip when it hits a large pothole or corny eat up dirt after abrasion of the outer, not too strong seal. And this is on regular wheels and with the most ordinary, not going beyond the limits of decency of operation. Alas, it remains only to meekly change the bearings, this procedure will ease the pocket of the owner of a supercar by 15,000 rubles. For one wheel. The classic rear axle, due to its simplicity of design and enormous inherent strength, pleases with the absence of problems, and in general, the transmission of the 200 is strong and reliable. The classic for most Toyota Land Cruiser suspension with twin transverse levers in front and an axle on longitudinal rods in the rear is a set that is traditional for a universal SUV. The versatility of the characteristics of the elastic elements makes it possible to overcome both rough terrain and high-speed road sections equally well. But even here there are subtleties. The main source of concern for the owner of a TLC 200 with a mileage of more than 100,000 kilometers can be the front shock absorbers, which heat up more and, accordingly, fail more often during long high-speed driving. Replacing a non-adjustable shock absorber along with work will result in about 10,000 rubles. A piece, and its electronically controlled counterpart will cost one and a half times more. This is the price for good handling which often allows the owners of the 200 to set speed records. The air suspension of the Toyota Land Cruiser is extremely tenacious and does not cause trouble, but the adaptable stabilizers sometimes fail, causing the car to roll out of the blue. The reason is a jamming of the stabilizer control valve. The problem is fixed by normal adjustment. Most often, it is produced free of charge directly when adjusting the angles of the front wheels, the price of which is 2,500 rubles. The brakes are quite tenacious, critical disc wear is observed only in specimens operated at maximum speeds. The frequency of replacing the pads entirely depends on the driving style of the owner. The price of a set, for one axle, of course, is 2,000 to 400 rubles. Despite the impressive range of adjustment of the front seats, a tall driver may find his workplace cramped. This is mainly due to the traditionally high floor of the car and the clearly Japanese approach to building the usable volume of the cabin. However, you can't exactly call the TLC 200 cramped, but sitting on the second row, you understand where a few centimeters of the cabin length won by the model from its predecessor went. The seats themselves are very comfortable and allow you to overcome more than 1,000 kilometers at once, which is what they are designed for. Toyota Land Cruiser 200 is available in five and seven-seater versions. Passengers in the third row will receive full-fledged seats with an electric folding mechanism. They will have enough space above their heads, but their legs will be raised unusually high, and here the high floor did not allow them to straighten their knees completely. What is valuable is that even in the seven-seater version, the TLC retains a capacious trunk. With any trim options, no squeaks and crickets will ever start in the depths of the Jeep. The trim panels do not make any sound at any run and on the asphalt comb, and even during an unplanned off-road jump. Nevertheless, the 200th is one of the few Mohicans who can overcome difficult off-road conditions as well as smooth asphalt. Yes, and with comfort, for which we love all over the world.